welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be going over all of my favorite art supplies so these are the things that i use probably the most regularly right now i've been trying a bunch of old products been trying a bunch of new products those aren't going to be in here yet all right they all need their moment to get to know me these products i'm about to show you know me very well they know me very well all right let's get into it Round is slow. This is by far my favorite white gel pen. I've tried the Jelly Roll gel pen and I don't like it as much. It's not as easy to use as this one is. I love these white gel pens so much that I bought them in bulk. I got like 10 of them. I got two to try originally and when I started running out of them, I panicked and bought like 10 because I never wanted a feeling of running out of them ever again. So I'm always prepared because I love these things. They're just so opaque and so easy to use. I could not recommend them more. Next up to bat is Prismacolor Cole Erase Pencils. Listen, I know what you're thinking. Why do I need to spend extra money on an erasable colored pencil when I have regular pencils that I didn't pay anything for because I stole them from someone at my college? Okay, here's the thing. It's life changing. It's annoying. Because these are colored pencils and not graphite, you don't have to worry about all the graphite smearing everywhere. And when you add colors on top of them, it's very beautiful. And when you use alcohol markers on top of it, it blends the colored pencil out underneath and it adds a beautiful little detail to it. I am absolutely obsessed with these and I definitely advocate for them. Uh, yeah. And it's not because they're easier to use than pencils. I think it's because I like I like the vibes that it gives my artwork, if you know what I'm saying. It gives that sketchy vibe. Don't have to get rid of the pencil because it's not gonna smear everywhere. Ugh, I just love them. The next pen is my Tombow Furunosuke pen brush. And I don't know if it's Furunosuke or Furunosuke, but either way, it's my favorite pen. I use it for my line work every single time. I think it works well with alcohol markers, with water markers, and we stand a versatile hoe on these parts. So let's say you don't want the sketch type of vibe in your pictures. I feel like a lot of people talk about this eraser, so I eventually just caved in and got it and I did not regret it. I think it gets the hype for a reason. My next favorite is watercolors. Now it doesn't have to specifically be Paul Rubin, but the main reason I like watercolors is because you're allowed to lay down a big layer of color without much effort. So like if I was using a marker, it would take forever to lay down a background. But because I'm using watercolor, it takes like two seconds. So watercolor is my fave. I don't really know much about expensive watercolors or anything but these do well for me and my needs here's the next palette of my favorites and i'm absolutely obsessed with this this is the Hemi gouache palette this is that viral gouache palette that everyone sees with the jelly paints and let me tell you it's worth every penny it's only 18 dollars, which is about one dollar per paint and i am in love with it it's so convenient the colors are so easy to use it's fun to play with not expensive ah uh, just amazing i'm obsessed Next are my baby's Crayola Super Tips. I am in love with these. You all know they're super, super cheap and they're so good and everyone needs to get these. I got the 100 pack, so I'm never gonna run out on color. And you know, I use them all the time for my bullet journal, for my drawings. I love these things. Next up are more markers. So I got my Tombow brush markers and my Zebra Mild Liners. These are kind of the same to me. The only difference is the tip is a different nib. Um, yeah, so they're the same to me. I like the colors. I think they are juicy and magnificent in every single shape and form. When I was doing the skin tone, I'm not normally this bad at applying the brush marker, but this time I, I had it very streaky. I tried to fix it, I couldn't fix it. I don't know, this is a new marker for me, so I need to keep testing it out, but I did not apply this very well. Normally my markers don't work like this, so do not be alarmed by the streakiness of her face. I think that was a user error. Water brush markers work the best with my sketchbook that I'm using right now as well. So a lot of my favorites have to do with how well they work in my sketchbook. That being said, this sketchbook is my favorite sketchbook that I've ever used in my entire life. So it's safe to say that these are my favorite art supplies as well. Right 
Stencils are my next favorite art supply. They add a fun little flair to my drawings and it doesn't feel as much like cheating as using stamps does or stickers. When I use a stencil, I'm still like physically kind of drawing it so it doesn't feel that bad. It's a very easy way to add patterns and little details to your spreads and I really enjoy that little touch that it gives. And the stencils would be nothing without fine liners. So, fine liners, I don't think it matters what the brand is. Mine is specifically Stadler, but I think any fine liner would work and I use them all the time. My Prismacolor colored pencils are my next favorite. I adore these. They are so fun. They add a little texture to anything. You can add little details here and there. You can shade here. You can blend out things. It's just a nice diverse tool in my opinion. Now that's it for the art supplies that are fun. It's time to get to the stuff that's satisfying. This nifty contraption makes the corners rounded and it adds a lot of cool textures if you want to layer stuff on top of your sketchbook. I use it a lot for my sketchbook. I use it a lot for my bullet journal. I'm obsessed with it. Let's say you draw something and you're like me, you hate it when you don't like the look of something. How do you solve that? Cover it up. What do you do with tattoos you don't like? You cover them up or you get them removed. But cover up just make more sense, you know? So I do the same thing and to add a little fun, add a little flair, you cut the corners, make them rounded and suddenly it feels, feels good. You're like, yeah, I made a mistake, but I fixed it, you know? You know, anyone else? Just me? Last but not least is the Tombow adhesive tape. This stuff is so convenient, it's so useful. I use it every single day. I buy it in packs of threes now. I'll probably eventually buy them in larger packs just cause they're so useful and they actually work. I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.